Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Today we're going to draw a rapier. Uh, rapier is a 16th and 17th uh, European sword, a really thin one. Used more for par parry parrying and poking, you know, things of that sort. It's really a light sword. I'm going to go over just general, uh, very general design of it, nothing too crazy. But I know it's a little more complicated than my normal videos, but we're going to try it out. So I'm going to be using a ruler. And I'm going to be using a uh, ballpoint pen. I hope you can see it, uh, what's going on here. It's going to be more of a sketch. I'm not going to shade uh, that much, really. So right now I'm just going to get the... Uh, I'm going to start. I'm going to go very, very lightly with a pen. And I'm going to start kind of uh, putting lines in for the handle on where it's going to be. Hands gonna be a little decorative, nothing crazy. Uh, you're barely even gonna see this outline. So. It's gonna be the uh, knuckle guard over here. Be thinner than that. I have to figure out where it's gonna be. It is in pen, so I'm I'm trying to go extremely light on my lines. I'm just getting a general proportion for where things are. All right. So when I have this, this is extremely light. You can probably barely barely see it on the page. Let me see that. Closen that up a little bit. All right, <laughs> so let's get into it. We're gonna go into the pommel, uh, which is part of the handle. It's actually the back part of the handle. It's really there for design, but it's also there for a purpose in case it keeps them from sliding out. It gives you like a second chance. If it slides out of your hand, it will hit uh, the pommel before falling out of your hands. It's a little ball at the very end. Actually, let me use a ruler here to put a light line. I'm gonna see, just to keep it center, I'm gonna put a very, very light line here across just to, know where I'm at. Keep the center line. But I'm going to be doing this freehand, this portion of it. Put a circle there. I'm give it a little bit of dimension, I guess, by putting some lines as if, uh, kind of, kind of shading it a little bit, but not much. I said I wasn't going to shade. Small divider here. And the handle portion. Uh, that call this a Turk's head. Another portion, which is uh, looks like a design element, which it kind of is, is both structure and design of it. Get the part of the handle here, which you go grabbing. All right. Continue to go down, and I'm going to go into the uh, basically what you call the quilon. 
is a people think it's part of the handle, which it kind of is there for kind of a balance of the weapon. Balls there as a design element. I'm gonna go with the knuckle guard. The knuckle guard basically does what it sounds like. It guards the knuckles when grabbing the handle. I'm doing this a little quicker than I normally would in a regular drawing. You know, like for myself or a commission. The reason is this is more for the purposes of teaching, you know, where things are. It's curved around, you know, to kind of guard it. And like I said, also, it gives a good, at least in most rapiers, it gives a good, pretty good design. It's kind of swirl, it's kind of roundness. It's curvature to the, uh, what otherwise wouldn't be curvature. But it would just be straight, you know. Going back here. Again, just a design element moving downward in the sword. Also kind of protects where the... Uh, it, I, I, this gives it uh, some structural support as well. You know, when you're hitting, when uh, you're clanging against each other, this will keep it attached. Uh, you know, it's already attached. The metal, the, the you know, the sharp, <laughs> the sharp part. To the uh, the handle, but this gives it a lot more support. Just kind of grasping it in there. So okay, but now we're gonna do the uh, the sharp portion of the sword, and this is pretty thin. I'm gonna have to approximate. It's gonna be about about how the, how thick the handle is right here, at least the where you grasp it. So it's approximately that, but it's gonna be straight and it's gonna be tapering. Tapering down meaning it's gonna get smaller as it goes to the edge, but not much smaller. All right, I'm going to measure it out. I'm going to draw the line. It's one line. I'm going to keep it similar on the other side. Try to approximate where it's going to be. Sorry if I'm blocking the camera angle. Connect it. Hmm. Yeah, it's a good, uh, about a decent uh, distance there. One moment. Now I'm going to connect it at the end here. This is like a, the end of a popsicle stick. And I am going to add one other thing, which is the uh, fuller, that kind of divoted section, <clears throat> divoted section of the sword, which the middle part could act as one, but uh, I'm going to add one. I'm going to make it uh, a little different. And I'm going to make it really light, too, because it's on the inside. It's really quick. All right, so now we have the general uh, structure of the sword. Hopefully you can see that. And uh, let me zoom out a tiny bit. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to go into the details now. 
and maybe uh, shade it a little bit. Just to kind of give it some, I know this is only for the purposes of teaching, but I would like to kind of mess around with it, you know. Do, because now the hard part's over. The hard part, the proportions, the main structures are set up. Now you can kind of fool around with it. I'm going to go in and I'm going to make this line of the, uh, of the Quilon darker. I don't think this particularly reads very well, so I'm going to go in there, try to smooth that out a little bit. The knuckle guard. I'm going to darken the outside lines, the outside contour of the entire thing. As a, a rule, I, I tend, me personally, this is just a personal preference, uh, I tend to actually darken the contour of almost every drawing I do. I darken it a little bit more. I make the line a slightly bit thicker than the lines on the inside sometimes. Because um, I, ju I just tend to, I, I feel like it, it will give the object more weight on the page. And that's just purely my opinion. That's a style thing. Uh, everybody has their own style. You're going to have your own style that you will figure out... Um, as you practice, you'll figure it out. So everybody has their own thing. Everybody has their own... Uh, I wouldn't say everybody has their own trick, but... You know, people have their specialty. If you're an artist, you have your specialty. Uh, mine was always drawing anatomical creatures. Things of fantasy in school. Uh, others would be more prone to animation. Some people are extremely well at drawing animals. I've met some amazing people that are amazing at animals. That's like their favorite thing to do. I'm going to put a little bit of shading down here to show it's kind of a rounded object, so I'm going to put some little lines. So let's say the light's coming from above. If, you know, it's kind of invisible, really. You know, it's floating in midair, let's say. I'm going to put some tiny, tiny, tiny lines right here to show slightly rounded, slightly curved. Because I'm showing that this form itself is slightly curved. Going back in here, kind of refining the rear, the rear arm here. See the front arm. Also, if you guys know a lot about swords, uh, I'd love to you know hear your comments. Uh, please post info on uh, you know stuff that may interest me. You know, I'm only I'm only a novice. I'm I'm a novice learning about swords. So if I said something incorrect, I apologize. I'm still learning. Uh, I want to learn, and the only way to learn is to kind of just do it and make a mistake and then move on and fix correct that mistake the next time out so please uh yeah I'd like please be loud and clear in the comments down below putting this as a design element purely it's really nothing else other than me just kind of freestyling that little shape there uh, you'll start developing uh also the more you the more you draw which is something that uh, I don't talk about a lot. The more, whoa, my phone. I'm gonna keep it there though. I'm gonna keep it real. I'm not gonna edit that out. Uh, I was gonna say the more you draw, the more you kind of you're gonna develop a style. Um, you're gonna develop a style, but you're also gonna develop a design sense. You're gonna develop placement. You're gonna be like, oh, that shape's too big for that. You know, it's gonna look. It just looks weird. And sometimes you don't even know why. You know, you're just saying, that looks weird. i got to change that. You know, you're going to develop this kind of intuitive design sense of your own. And usually it's going to be from looking at other people's drawings, looking at your own drawings. You're thinking, like, hey, something's off. And you fix it, and, you know, maybe compositionally it'll be like, hmm, you're not 100% why it looks better, but it does. You know? Discover who you are uh, artistically. Learn the rules. Do them, you know, the rules or principles. Learn the rules of drawing, but uh, do something creative with them and uh, change, you know, change the things around you, change the norms.